Hey there, welcome to Thesis in Three Weeks, Day 18. You might be feeling like you just want to give up at this point. And if you are, it's typical. Not normal, but it's typical. So don't give up. You're doing great. Give yourself some inspiration for why and how you want to finish this project so that you can keep going. I've had so many students in the past say, do I have to edit again? Well, yes, you need to edit again. You want to produce the best product possible, but you also want to finish your project and it's not quite finished yet. So what we're going to do today is read through your entire draft. The whole thing is now drafted and something somewhere is probably stuck or needs help. So fix those sections. A good way to do it is actually just to highlight it or use comments um, and, you know, come back to this, come back to that, whatever, however you want to do that for yourself. But read through the entire draft and when something's stuck, flag it, keep going, and then go back and fix those sections. So editing can be challenging when it is your own work. So try and depersonalize it in your head and think about your audience and what you want them to get out of your paper. And so you can edit and refine other sections. Something might not be stuck at all. Sometimes somebody gets really, really stuck and you have to work hard to fix it. And other times papers that write themselves just need some refinement. So expand any content that needs lengthening. Generally speaking, a thesis has to meet a minimum requirement of pages. And, and you really want to make sure that you exceed that minimum requirement by at least a page. Um, what you don't want to do is if your thesis needs to be 50 pages and you don't, you don't really want to turn in 49 and a half pages um, or assume that your title page counts as a page. So you're not writing for the sake of writing, but you can lengthen content so that it is clearer and that will help. And then the last new thing that you may need to have is an abstract. So if it's required for you to write an abstract, go to that section of your paper and write your abstract. And your abstract is really a mini paper where it has a little introduction and it has some, um, you know, a little bit of background information and a little bit about what's known already on the topic. And then a sentence about your methods, like one sentence for your methods, and then two to three sentences of your results and what it means. So abstracts are often supposed to be 500 words, so stick to that limit if that's what you need. Um, if you don't need an abstract, don't worry about it, If um, but you want to make sure that you're following format requirements for your school uh, and what's customary in your discipline. So once you've done this, you've read through everything, you've fixed things, hopefully you're going to feel better about your paper. We've got just a couple more days before you're going to be submitting it. So hang in there. Do good work and we'll see you tomorrow.